mangrove species identification is commonly done using identification key such as Tom Linson 1986, Jason et al. 2006, etc. The reality in the field, it is sometimes difficult to open and identify species using those identification key books. A correct and rapid science identification strategy or trick will be more useful and practical. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to identify mangrove species using an easy, fast, and precise using our experiences on doing mangrove monitoring for the CoreMap CTI project. So, without further ado, let's learn those tricks. First, a simple way to identify mangrove species is by learning the common types of their root morphology. In general, a mangrove genus shares a typical root system, which differs from the root system of other terrestrial plants. The stilt root or prop root with white coverage is the main character of genus Rhizopora. Other members of the Rhizopora family such as Brujuera and Cereops also have similar root types, even though their coverage is not as wide as Rhizophora. Stilt root in Brujuera and Cereops are only attached to the lowest part of their stem. Besides the prop root, both species also have another type of root called knee root. This type of root appears above the ground surrounding the main stem. The size of Brujuera knee root is bigger compared to Cereops. Another unique root system is breathing root or pneumatophore. This type of root belongs to genus Soneratia and Avicennia. Breathing root in Soneratia is harder and stiffer compared to Avicennia with a more flexible breathing root. This type of root is also found in a species of Xylocarpus group called Xylocarpus molucansis. The breathing root in this species is stiff but morphologically more flat shaped roots with a round tip. Another unique root type is plank root found only in Xylocarpus granatum. However, other characteristics of this species need to be observed as well. Next step on practical identification of mangrove species is by observing the fruit and flower of the mangrove stand. The observation of this character is one of the easiest way to distinguish mangrove species. The weakness of using this character as a reference is the different flowering season of each species. Often, we did not find a single flower or fruit during the sampling period. From the aforementioned road type, we already sort out every common genus that was mostly found during the field sampling. This is the flower of genus Rhizopora. All species members of this genus can be easily distinguished based on the number of flowers found in a single inflorescence. Rhizopora apiculata has two flowers with a short peduncle. Rhizopora exlamarki also has two flowers in a single inflorescence, but their peduncle is longer than Rhizopora apiculata. Rhizopora mucoronata has four to seven flowers in a single peduncle. Meanwhile, Rhizopora stilosa has eight to twelve small flowers. It is quite easy to differentiate each species of the genus Brugiera if the flower and fruits are present. 
Brujuhera gymnoriza is a common species found in Indonesia with red calyx or petals. Brujuhera cylindrica has small, paired flowers and fruits. This image shows the differences between each species in genus Brujuhera based on the character of their fruit and flower. Cereops is another member of the Rhizoporace group with a significant difference in its fruit. Cereops tagal has longer propagules compared to Cereops decandra and Cereops zipeliana. Propagules of Cereops tagal hangs in the direction of gravity. Meanwhile, Cereops decandra and Cereops zipeliana hang in the opposite direction of the gravity. Both species can be distinguished based on the color of their propagule. Cereops zipeliana has red propagules and Cereops decandra has white propagules. Genus Lumnitzera has a striking flower and fruit color. There are two common Lumnitzera species found in Indonesia, that is Lumnitzera litoria with red flower and Lumnitzera racemosa with white flower. Genus Silocarpus has a typical flower compared to the other mangrove groups. The flower morphology of Silocarpus granatum and Silocarpus molusensis are not so easy to distinguish. However, they are quite easy to distinguish if we observe their fruit. Both species have a round fruit with two or three times bigger than a tennis ball. However, Silocarpus granatum fruit color is yellowish brown while Silocarpus molusensis has green-colored fruit. Let's move on to the commonly found mangrove groups in the seaward zone. In the coastal zone or the zone closest to the sea, the substance is sandy or rocky, and here we can find the genus Sonerasia. Sonerasia alba has a unique flower and fruit. This is how the flower looks like. The color is dominantly white, which comprises mainly of its stamen. Sonerasia cassiolaris has a red-colored flower. Both species have a similarly shaped fruit. Another species from this genus is Sonerasia ovata, with white flower and fruit that is partially covered by the calyx lobes that bend toward the fruit. Avicennia is a genus mainly found living in the muddy substrate with high salinity. The flower and fruit of Avicennia species can be identified from this picture. Besides those genera, there are still many mangrove species that we can find in the study site, such as Nipa, Camptostemon, Aegiseras, Exocaria, Pampis, Osbornia, etc. When in doubt during the field identification, we recommend collecting parts of the mangrove such as leaf, fruit, and flower. Besides that, documenting the mangrove stand will also come in handy. The leaf morphology and color can give proper information on a simple mangrove identification. Rhizopora has a pointy leaf with a needle-like structure as the tip of the leaf lamina. The proportion of their petioli to lamina is one-tenth and almost the same throughout all species in the genus. Brujuira has a similar leaf shape with Rhizopora, but bigger ratio of petiole to lamina, that is one-third or one-quarter. Cereops is the only genus of Rhizoporce with a small and rounded tip leaves. The leaf size is very useful to differentiate species in the mangrove group. As an example, in the Rhizopora group, Rhizopora mucronata has the biggest leaf size within the group. 
Rhizopora apiculata has an elongated leaf shape and Rhizopora stylosa has a similar leaf ratio of length to width as Rhizopora mucronata with smaller and more flexible leaf. In Brujuira group, Brujuira gymnoriza has the biggest leaf lamina size. Other species of this group, such as Brujuira sexangula, Brujuira cylindrica, Brujuira parviflora, and Brujuira exaristata, have an almost similar leaf size but smaller compared to Brujuira gymnoriza. Seriopstagal has a wavy and smaller leaf lamina size compared to Seriops decandra. Next, we move on to the land part of the mangrove forest. Mangrove species found mostly here are Lumnitzera littoria and Lumnitzera racemosa. Based on its leaf morphological and size, both species are difficult to distinguish. However, their petiole color differs. Lumnitzera racemosa leaf has a light green petiole, while Lumnitzera littoria leaf has a reddish dark green color. Similar color also appears in their blooming petals. Two other mangrove groups are commonly found in the seaward zone of mangrove forest area or near to the sea. Those groups are Sonerasia and Avicennia. There are three Sonerasia species commonly found in Indonesian mangroves. They are Sonerasia alba, Sonerasia caseolaris, and Sonerasia ovata. These three species have minor differences in their foliar shape, size, and leaf arrangements as shown in the following video. Next, leaf morphology also a key character to distinguish between the species of the family Aphiciniaceae. Let's see the differences from this picture. Several other characteristics are easily observed and can be used as a practical guide to identify mangrove species. As an example, the trunk of Silocarpus molusensis that differ with Silocarpus granatum. The brown colored trunk of Sonerasia alba is easily distinguished with Sonerasia ovata and Sonerasia cassiolaris. The latter two species have a trunk with white spots, which makes the trunk appear as white color. The unique terminal branch of Sonerasia cassiolaris also differs from the other species. Its terminal branch looks as if it has fallen following the gravity. The branch is shaped like a square with some leaves growing on it. Habitat is an important reference for the identification of Sonerasia. Sonerasia alba usually grows in a sandy area with high salinity. Meanwhile, Sonerasia cassiolaris and Sonerasia ovata are commonly found at a lower salinity area or mangrove forests along the river. <music> 